Welcome back to all of our YouTube viewers and members of the Florida Power Boat Club to what is about to become an incredible 2019 calendar year with members of the Florida Power Boat Club. Kicking things off here in January, just late January, the third weekend actually. Uh, it looks like it's summer from where I'm sitting, but it's actually January and it's snowing everywhere else in the country as we start off here at Hallover Marine Center. So remember now the winter poker run, we call it that to remind everybody, it's the middle of winter right now, but look at how beautiful it is here in North Miami as our drone flies around early in the morning, capturing these beautiful shots of what is just truly a magnificent marina and our second home to the Florida Powerboat Club. The only thing we don't have is an office here, but the boss man here, John Lewis, assures me that whenever I'm ready, uh, we can set up camp here at Hallover Marine Center. And I would believe me, I would love to do that. But just look at these fabulous images as you see the variety in terms of the kind of boats that are going to attend our winter poker run. Uh, but flying the drone through the main barn here, we call them barns. They're, they're pretty damn big barns. Uh, but looking how high, five high, 500 boats in storage here. The biggest and the latest in Wiggins forklifts, 75,000 pound capacity for these fork trucks. And getting these images from the drone really capture the true essence of what it's like to run a first class dry storage marina uh, as we fly around the forklifts uh, launching boats. But talking about the boats again, you know, we've got cats and performance V bottoms. We've got center consoles with outboards. The variety in the boats that we're seeing on these events now is truly spectacular because really there's really nothing that we don't accept anymore as long as you can cruise at 50 or 60 miles an hour we have sport cruisers express cruisers with big power that are running those kinds of speeds these days uh, and you know as long as you can maintain the speed uh, you're going to be able to keep up with the group on these events and some new boats appearing now as we look down here Looks like Ron Zolak's brand new 38-foot Mystic, uh, powered by a pair of Mercury Racing Verado 400s. Uh, a brand new boat from Mystic, one of the first to come out of uh, the Mystic factory here. And I know this is going to be a very popular model. We had one on the Key West Poker Run just a few months earlier. Uh, but this is the first one we've seen with a spectacular paint job, as Ronnie always does with all of his boats. I'm sure he's going to run this boat once, and we're never going to see it again. But the real star of the show, of course, the all-new Project 1080, uh, that cigarette uh, resto mod that we started doing about a year earlier, uh, sponsored by Mercury Racing with a pair of Mercury Racing 540s, hence the name Project 1080. Uh, but very exciting for me because, you know, we thought we would have this boat ready for the Key West Poker Run last November, but we had some rigging gremlins and somehow it just didn't get done on time. But here I am now very proudly getting the boat cleaned up and ready at Hallover Marine Center for its very first poker run. And of course, we'll be seeing a lot of this boat throughout this season. Meanwhile, I'd like to address just the disparity in terms of the size of this event versus the ones that you saw previously. We've just come off the heels of the Key West Poker Run, which as many of you know, our YouTube uh, viewers and uh, club members know, was a 10 episode epic adventure. So. 225 registered teams and a total of 10 episodes on YouTube to cover one event. Now we're back to 20 boats, so our biggest event now has become our smallest event as we drop in on David and Lori Postel here in their new Deep Impact 399. They're, I guess, into about a year and a half now with this boat, Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs. Uh, and of course, Deep Impact back with us as a series sponsor for 2019. Uh, glad to have them on board again. But just addressing the size of this event, you know, when you have 20 teams, uh, you know, approximately 100 people going on a poker run event, and you're going to be all hanging out together for the next three days, these are the kind of events that are really special to so many of you. And I know I hear this after the event. Everyone says, hey, Stu, uh, wow, the, you know, this was a small event, but I had so much fun because I really got to know my neighbor. I, I met so many people. And I think this is what happens on these smaller events, that everyone kind of drops their guard and really, you know, steps outside of the box or out of their own comfort zone to get to know their fellow boater. And I think that these smaller events tend to foster that kind of feeling uh, and that vibe where everyone goes home saying, hey, I met some new friends. I really had a good time. So sometimes less is more on these poker run events. It's certainly a lot easier for me and for my staff in terms of running the event. And that gives me the time now to enjoy uh, my new cigarette and I think that's uh, it's going to really be a special weekend because of that and also let's talk about the crew I have on board with me are two different couples 
who were part of fundraising activities that Project 1080 was involved in, uh, two charity events. Uh, one was raising money for the Emerald Coast Poker Run. So that's uh, Dane Michael from Georgia and his wife are going to join us today on Project 1080, as well as Seth and Prudence uh, Leverance. They're from uh, Boca Raton, and they raised money. I believe it was at an AIDS uh, research or AIDS foundation uh, event that they attended. So each of these couples has paid uh, a, at least a few thousand dollars to attend and go with me on this poker run here, the first event for the season. So it's really special in so many ways. I'm going to be with a fun group. And look at the weather. You can't you can't beat the weather. Uh, the boat's running great. I've only managed to do one sea trial on the boat so far. I know it's running pretty good, but I do also know I've got a long ways to go in terms of dialing the boat in, uh, getting the drives right, getting the props right, and getting everything working. Like you guys know how it is at own performance boats. You, they don't come out of the box running perfect. So once you do a big rigging or a big uh, resto mod job like this, there's a lot of details and uh, tuning things that need finessing. And uh, we've got a long ways to go, but I know the boat's going to run great all weekend long, and I'm so happy to finally have her finished and spend some time with my friends and with my family who are going to meet us down at Hawks K Resort in the Keys. Let's talk a little bit about today's run, which will be a total of 20 boats, including George and Ann Ariano in their Sensation 36. By the way, twin Mercury Racing 540 EFIs, the identical power situation to what we have here in the Project 1080. I did get a chance to ride with George on a recent event back, oh, maybe a year earlier, and I really got to see how really well these 540s ran with this 36-foot uh, V-bottom. Uh, and it's really what convinced me to go ahead and decide on 540s. Plus a little bit of the bling factor that goes without saying. This is a, uh, a CMI header motor. It has all the look and the feel of a true performance engine. And I think that's really what I wanted to get. Uh, Gary and Jen Nelson from Florida, their 30-foot skater, Team Strega. But uh, number 711 on the side, that's because they both have a big giant, big gulp drink in the cockpit to stay hydrated throughout the day. Gotta love this 43-foot Nortec Cat Barry and Stephanie Henson from Tennessee. Uh, they've also got a condo in Fort Lauderdale, so they spend a lot of time down here in the winter months. Very smart move, guys. And then, of course, they send the boat back home in the spring and spend a lot of their time back there in the summer months, as do many people in the Florida Powerboat Club. Uh, clearly, we cater well to a group that's, you know, 80% not from Florida, and I think that that's the appeal for many people is to bring their boats down here in the winter months and enjoy the Florida Powerboat Club lifestyle. And lovely Marissa on the dock right now. She's handing out the poker cards. It's kind of a momentous occasion. It's the first poker run of the year. Uh, we're hanging out at Hallover Marine Center. The weather is absolutely perfect. Uh, you know, everyone's excited because there's been a two-month hiatus since the November Key West poker run. None of us have done any poker runs, so I, we're all chomping at the bit to get out on our boats and head for the Florida Keys and enjoy this beautiful weather. And I want to say something about these video clips. So we borrowed all of this from uh, John Lewis at Hallover Marine Center. Uh, he got his iPhone out and started shooting this whole card stop. And, you know, later that morning, he posted this on Facebook. And within, oh, maybe like a few days, he was already up to a million views. And this thing just kept on going. I think it's sitting at 1.5 or 1.6 million views on Facebook. Just this little three or four minute segment of Marissa handing out the cards. And I'm pretty certain that it has something to do with the fact that she looks pretty darn good in a bathing suit. 
and she is one of our very spirited FPC girls. In fact, I got a chance to take a few pictures of her on the new Project 1080 earlier, just before we left the docks, and, uh, and I don't think she takes a bad picture, but she's always very energetic, gets along with all of the club members. Look at that, even <laughs> it reaches out to stop the boat from hitting the dock. That's a, that's a girl who's very engaged in her job. <laughs> And for those of you who are interested, uh, here's a few of the shots I got on Project 1080. And if you do want to follow uh, Marissa on Instagram, she's at, at Marissa Everhart. Uh, and she does have a pretty strong following, about 760,000 followers on Instagram. But she also has at least uh, 3.5 million or more followers on Facebook. A very uh, celebrated model who's a fishing celebrity with the Pelagic team, and she's also the Miss Powerboat Week from the Emerald Coast Poker Run last August. So as we get the final card and depart Hallover Marine Center, thanks to the whole team here at Hallover and of course to the boss man, John Lewis, for capturing this great video that went viral on Facebook. Florida Powerboat Club here on a beautiful Friday morning here, January, in the Florida Keys. And can you believe it? It's like 75 degrees already. And these guys are ready to have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. Winter Poker Run 2019, leaving Miami, heading for the Florida Keys. Let's go! Now heading out through the Hallover Inlet, seeing just how beautiful and calm it is. The winds are so light that we have virtually no seas today. It's just like a pond out here in the Atlantic Ocean. And the drone is doing a fabulous job of capturing these images as the boats exit the inlet. And uh, once again, now about 20 teams all together on this event, a good variety of performance fee bottoms, performance cats. Uh, a lot of these outboard cats, which are becoming tremendously popular around Florida powerboat club circles and of course around poker runs nationwide. And it looks like Barry has put in a power to it now with this big, uh, this is a very traditional Nortec 4300 Super Cat, a boat that was extremely popular back around 2004, 2006, and uh, for many years. Uh, many of them were equipped with Nortec power, some of them with Mercury Racing 1075. And I do want to commend our videographer, Joe, who's doing a great job in managing a two camera shoot, uh, one here on the sticks. Uh, Kind of reminds me of the zip zap videos going through all over and then of course this drone he's really got this drone thing nailed he's an accomplished drone pilot faa certified he knows all the rules and he stays within all the rules and manages to get the shots we're looking for remember now this is only a 20 boat event so it's not likely that we're going to fly a helicopter here for the entire event uh, we're going to get the drone up at the opening stages and get as much as we can. Then Joe's going to pile all his gear into the car, race down to Key Largo, race down to the Keys, and capture us on the next stop. So I think that's just kind of how we managed to do this. And we're going to plan to have a helicopter, but we're going to wait until Saturday and do that in the Keys when we can fly out of Marathon and we can get some of that beautiful water down in the Florida Keys. And we've got a short ride down the coastal waters. Uh, next stop is going to be Grove Harbor Marina in Coconut Grove. And now we are shooting from the Project 1080 cigarette as we just kind of sit here and mill, waiting for the cards uh, to be handed off one by one. Mark and Susan Monroe from New Jersey in their Wright Performance 360 Cat uh, Mercury Racing 400s. And they're coming up on a one-year anniversary. They took delivery just a year earlier at the time of the Miami show. There's that Nortec 4300 Super Cat again. Barry and Stephanie Henson looking good and got their life jackets on. And say hi to Matt Borsina from New York, another 36-foot right performance cat, Team Low C. And he has got a good record running, a lot of poker runs on his agenda for 2019. We're going to see a lot of this boat. And let's welcome back Michael Friedman, uh, one of three cigarettes registered on the run. He's from Chicago, but he's got a home here in Florida. He goes back and forth. Been in the club for over 20 years. Nice to see him back in a new boat, this 39-foot cigarette powered by Quad. Mercury Racing 400s. And one more time, another look at this brand new 38-foot Mystic, Ron Zolak from Michigan and from Florida. Mercury Racing 400Rs Team Flight Club. 
but we won't see it again. I know he's probably got that boat for sale and somebody else is going to grab it, but look for this boat in the 2019 Florida Powerboat Club wall calendar. And another visit with Dave and Lori Postel on their Deep Impact 399 Team Mayhem. Quad Mercury Racing 400 hours and a Art of Design. That's the Art of Design paint job, which was completed, I believe, just before the Key West Poker Run 2017. So they've had the boat now for about a year and a half. They've done a bunch of poker runs, and they're having a lot of fun with the boat. And now we're joining Jimmy Harrison from Fort Lauderdale, Team FJ Propeller. Uh, 39-foot Nortec center console powered by Quad Mercury 400Rs. And anyone who knows Jimmy would know he has got this boat tuned for performance. Why? Because he's a boat racer, loves going fast. He's also a propeller guy, and he has the technology, the staff, and the skills to do these fine little tricks with these Mercury racing propellers. He's running five blades with great results. And let's welcome back Noel and Gretchen Speranza from the Sarasota area. A great 2018 season attending several of our events and uh, getting a good start again on 2019 in their 44-foot concept. And let's welcome back Kevin and Melissa Welch uh, from Massachusetts, 35-foot cigarette. And uh, I guess this would be my sister ship, the closest thing to the Project 108038 Top Gun, uh, joining us here for the Poker Run. And they are a long way from home in Colorado. Kevin and Oksana Klein in this 43-foot Donzi pack and heat. And heat she is. Twin Teague 1200s. Serious power. This boat is a beast. And keeping the Mystic representation strong, John Tomino from New Jersey in this Mystic 42-foot center console powered by Triple Mercury Verados. Well, that was a great shot of our fleet getting a poker card, but uh, now we've found ourselves down at the south end of Biscayne Bay heading into Jewfish Creek, this very popular shot. This is the one where everybody thinks they're in a James Bond movie, especially when the helicopter joins in. Very scenic today, the weather holding out, not a cloud in the sky. As you can see over the bow of Project 1080, just how nice it is here in these waterways. And a very quiet Friday morning, not a lot of boat traffic out there. It's making for a great ride. And as we catch up with the rest of the pack, it only verifies that we are no longer the pace boat, but we are the chase boat, being the last one to arrive here at our lunch stop at Gilbert's Resort. Everyone is settled in and rafted up, and uh, you can see now the docks have come along quite well. They're not quite complete, but there's enough of them done that we have plenty of docking for everybody. Uh, not long off now until the entire construction project is done and Gilbert's is fully operational again along every foot of their seawall. Uh, but want to thank them for their hospitality. They've rolled out the red carpet to us for decades uh, with this giant tiki bar. Of course, they have the fuel dock. Uh, we know Kevin's there because he's got those big thirsty Teague motors. But that's one good thing about going down to the Florida Keys. There's plenty of fuel stops on the way all the way down to Key West. Well, we didn't spend much time with the camera at Gilbert's, but all in all, a beautiful Friday run arriving here at Hawks Cay Resort in Duck Key. We're in uh, about eight miles from Marathon now. We've got a big agenda planned for Saturday, including a helicopter, so plenty of excitement ahead. And a fantastic Saturday ahead of us as we kick things off here from the Marathon Airport. There's a Video Joe along with uh, Jerry in the front seat and our pilot here from Old City Helicopters, which uh, is actually based in St. Augustine, Florida. We've been flying with them for, oh, who knows, about 20 years now. Great shots of the city of Marathon as we get closer now to Hawks Cay Resort as now we, here we are flying overhead. A nice shot of Hawks Cay. You can see the unique geography of this resort. It's on an island. Uh, it's got this rim canal, which has got a huge rock jetty surrounding it. So these homeowners have the benefit of a protected waterfront, and most of them have nice docks, 80 to 100 feet, maybe more. Uh, a view of the ocean, but yet protected from the ocean. Not a bad situation, which apparently keeps the values of these homes very, very high. But when you're arriving or departing from Hawks Cay Resort, it's a nice scenic ride. It takes about 10 minutes idling, uh, coming or going, uh, but it gives you time to prepare and get your life jackets on and get everything ready for the ride. Very scenic ride, too. You can see here in the background, Hawks Cay Resort does have that nice lagoon that is one of its features for the guests who visit. They give you a little kayaks and paddle boards, and it's great for the kids to play. And if you don't like swimming in the lagoon, you've got beautiful pools as well. 
No doubt that Hawks Cay Resort is a very family-friendly, uh, water sports-friendly resort that a lot of people like to visit. The first thing you didn't kiss is one of me, and I will never ask you. I just can't be to myself. I don't want to know. You feel fake, you keep it all alone. Cause my heart can't take it anymore. And if you're creeping, please don't let it show. Oh, baby, I don't want to know. And looks like we're now cleared the island out into the coastal waters and taking a big wide turn to head south towards Marathon. Not going to be a very far run today. And it was just a little bit bumpy as I had hoped uh, because I wanted to truly enjoy the rough water capabilities of this cigarette hull. We hadn't really had a chance to run in anything rough yet. We had a smooth ride all the way down on the backwaters and the bay waters. But clearly that is why I purchased this straight bottom you know, 20 year old cigarette hull to redo it because I had fond memories of just how well uh, these boats handled rough water. And you could pretty much maintain speeds well into the 50s, 55, 60 in a nice three foot sea like this and everyone would have a decent ride. You wouldn't feel like you're gonna get thrown out of the boat. Uh, and it looks like that's exactly what's happening today as we take our friends on board uh, for this little offshore romp uh, just off the coast of Marathon. Now you guys can't see the smile on my face, but I can assure you that I am grinning from ear to ear, uh, being now the first time that I've had a chance to run the Project 1080 down here in the Florida Keys. And now let's visit with Noel and Gretchen Speranza in this big 44 concept. Uh, great looking boat, great riding boat, Quad Mercury 400 hours. I had a chance to ride with them last summer in the Bahamas for one leg of the run. And you look forward at that big cabin. I was amazed when I crawled in there one day and saw the headroom and that every square inch is usable space down there on a boat that is a high performance, very fast, good performing boat. I think this concept 4400 was a real trailblazer because you know, this boat came out more than 10 years ago when a lot of the other companies weren't even building center consoles yet. And let's say hi to Johnny O, as we know him, Johnny O'Laughlin from Long Island, New York, along with his buddy Jimmy McIntyre, who looks after this boat, and the big sister ship, of course, they have a 48-foot MTI with Mercury Racing 1550s. But, you know, Little Vengeful, this 34-foot MTI with Mercury Racing 400Rs is a matching set, the exact same graphics, but I used this expression earlier in a different context and it was less is more. And I think the guys will relate to me when I say that because less is more in their case. It's just the two of them. They wanna go down to the Keys with the club and have a little bit of fun. Uh, it's not that competitive for them this weekend because there's no other 48 MTIs to run with. So they thought, whoa, why don't we just take the 34 and uh, have a nice easy going weekend. There will be no dipsticks to pull. There will be no cowlings to take off. There will be no strainers to clean. It will just be a simple guys weekend down in the Keys having some fun. And, and while they're at it, let's try to break this little thing. And apparently they're trying real hard today, but I don't think they had any luck breaking it. She made it all the way there and all the way home. And it's time for just a little bit more cat play as Ron Zolak, uh, Florida, Michigan native, but living in Florida with his 38-foot Mystic Cat. Got to love this boat. And you've got to focus in on the picture right about now, everybody, because by now everyone has that calendar on the wall. And just take a good look at these images because that's where we got the shot, the money shot that we put in the 2019 edition of the Florida Powerboat Club wall calendar. And you've just gotta love this boat. It's really got fantastic lines, but clearly what's different about this boat and comparing to that 34 MTI we just saw, there's just a lot of fiberglass surrounding them. It's a very deep, big boat for this class. A lot of freeboard, a lot of fiberglass, very beamy, with a very good sized cockpit as well. Uh, I think that the, the key with this boat was that they built it for the bigger Mercury motors that did never come out. So it's living, uh, you know, temporarily in the 400 
world, but it's going to get the big motors when they do come out, and I think it'll be a very well-matched boat for that kind of power. And continuing this very exciting offshore adventure uh, as we close in on Kevin and Oksana Klein this time on the throttles and up on top of these big seas just cruising along at a good speed way off in the distance there that is the phantom uh, the new 32 race boat we haven't seen it yet on this event but it is the first poker run for this george ariano's creation he's building a few of them uh, for the racing circuit but he decided to use these fpc poker runs to get that little phantom dialed in but uh, you can see that kevin and oxana are just having a blast out here running about 70 miles an hour in the rough stuff and looking great now we've had a lot of these Don Z43s in the club over the years, but never have we had one that had big 1200 horsepower Teagues. And running alongside here, we're now gonna to start to be able to hear the power of those engines. And now we'll get a closer look at this new 32-foot Phantom. Uh, it's a single-engine uh, race boat, uh, a new class that George Ariano has decided to create, uh, working with Will Smith from Phantom. Uh, they're planning to build a few of these, or several of these, for this new class, but this is number one. And uh, as I said earlier, George is using the, our poker runs to really get these boats dialed in. He's not in the boat right now. He actually has a team that are going to drive and throttle the boat. I can't remember the guy's names offhand. Uh, but I apologize for that. But you can see that this boat is purpose-built for these kinds of seas, and by design, she's handling this rough chop quite well, and that single engine is running about 650 horsepower, I'm told. But all I can say is if you want to have a lot of fun offshore, whether you're on doing a poker run or going out into the race course, uh, this is certainly the way to do it. Uh, it's not going to break the wallet. It's not a half-a-million-dollar boat, far less than that. And you can have a blast and go out and just beat up the seas and get your kicks and, and get your adrenaline going. <laughs> I'm getting my adrenaline going just watching it here today. And now time to join David and Lori Postel from Michigan in their Deep Impact 399, uh, we saw a little bit of this boat earlier, Mercury Racing 400R Verados, uh, a great riding boat, a great looking boat, it doesn't get much better than this guys, uh, you can go out and pound the rough seas and just look at the way this Deep Impact just carves through these offshore swells, it's really a great offshore running boat and it's interesting when you look at the boating lifestyle of this couple who have had a cigarette 42X uh, which they re-rigged with Mercury Racing 1350s a number of years ago. I remember it was oh back in about 07 when Dave first got the boat and came on, I think he came on this very same poker run to Hawks K. Uh, but then they also got into the yachting lifestyle and they've got themselves a nice 60 foot azimuth flybridge motor yacht. Uh, so clearly they've got a little bit of everything in their blood when it comes to boating. They like cruising, they like going fast. I think that this Deep Impact 399 really kind of satisfies both needs because it does have a, a big spacious cockpit, plenty of room for all your friends, but it also can handle the rough seas offshore. So while you might not be a front runner on the poker run, you're certainly going to be able to keep up with the big boys. And let's welcome back Robbie and Angie Maula from Georgia. And they're running this glass stream 32. They call it a 328 SCX model, triple Mercury 350 Verados. It's not the first time we've seen the boat. They actually premiered it at the Emerald Coast Poker Run back in August. But of course, Robbie is a glass stream dealer in Georgia and uh, he works closely with the factory. And they, of course, were a factory sponsor with us at the Emerald Coast Run. Uh, but good to have Robbie back. Of course, his co-worker at the time, uh, Dane Michael and his wife, had joined me on my Project 1080 cigarette. But I was really happy to see Robbie and his crew come all the way down south here in January to join us and showcase this really cool Glass Dream 328. <music> 
Well, gang, I think that all happened so fast, and it was so much fun getting back on the air with our first of our 2019 series, Power Boating in Paradise events with the members of the Florida Power Boat Club. Uh, but in keeping with our production guidelines of uh, half-hour episodes, we pretty much hit that mark, and that assures us that when we come back in our next episode, we're going to have continuing coverage of our first 2019 event, the Winter Poker Run to the Middle Keys, and we've got plenty more high-speed action and some beautiful scenic cruising, including getting that money shot heading through the landmark Seven Mile Bridge, And we're all going to gather up here at the Island Fish Company in Marathon, one of our favorite seafood lunch spots here in the Middle Keys. We'll have more highlights of the brand new Project 1080 cigarette powered by Mercury Racing 540s. And I want to thank Mercury Racing for continuing that partnership and for being our presenting sponsor for the 2019 series of Florida Powerboat Club events. Thanks to everybody who could join us and to all of our sponsors with your continued support. So stay tuned here on YouTube for our next episode. You can always subscribe to our channel, Florida Powerboat Club. Remember to click that notification bell so you get all of the updates when a new episode comes out. And remember, you can find the Florida Powerboat Club on Facebook and on a number of Instagram pages. Uh, All of our events are listed on the website, flpowerboat.com. So get on the website, find out which event's going to suit you, join the club, and we'll see you soon. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. And remember, guys, keep it safe out there. And please, always wear your life jackets. Bye for now.